cohesive energy of BCC and FCC neon. Using the Leonard-Jones potential, calculate the ratio of the cohesive energies of neon in the BCC and FCC structures. The lattice sums for the BCC and FCC structures are as given. Okay, so we start by recalling that U total, called the cohesive energy, is given by 1 over 2 capital N 4 epsilon sum over J not equal to I sigma divided by Pij capital R to the power 12, which is the repulsive term, minus sum over j not equal to i, sigma over Pij capital R to the power 6, the attractive term. In this expression, Capital N is the number of atoms in the crystal, so we're counting the uh, number of pairs, basically. Capital R is the nearest neighbor distance, so this 1 over 2 uh, basically ensures that we, uh, we don't have overcounting. Pijr is the distance between reference atom I and the jth atom in the crystal, and I here is fixed, so it's a reference atom. And we do everything in terms of the nearest neighbor distance. So this is basically ensuring that we are doing our calculations based on the nearest neighbor distance. So let's concentrate on the BCC structure. In the BCC structure, body centered cubic structure, we have one atom in the body center and eight atoms at the corners of the cube. The nearest neighbor distance is a square root 3 over 2. So we're going to write capital R is equal to a square root 3 over 2. Now we need to look at the coordination number, the number of nearest neighbors. We have eight at the corners, they're equidistant from the body center. So we have a coordination number of eight. So eight nearest neighbors. What's the second nearest neighbor distance? The second nearest neighbor distance is A, the lattice constant. Now this has to be written in terms of the nearest neighbor distance, capital R. So we can write this as 2r divided by square root 3. Now, how many do we have at a distance a? So if we concentrate on this atom at the body center, if we move on to the next unit cell, we see to the right we have uh, one body center here at a distance a. To the left we have one body center a. If we go up at the body center, we have another second nearest neighbor. If we go down, another body center. If we go to the front and to the back, so we have total of six uh, second nearest neighbors. So the number of second nearest neighbors is six. The third nearest neighbor distance is a square root two. Now this has to be written in terms of r. So this can be written as, uh, since a was 2r over square root 3, this will be 2 square root 2r over square root 3. Now we have to count the number of uh, third nearest neighbors. Uh, so if I start from this atom at this corner, I can see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4 on this plane. And then I have uh, one, one, two, three, four on this uh, plane. And then I have uh, one, two, three, four on this plane. So uh, I, I have considered this plane, this plane, and this plane. So total of 12. 
number of third nearest neighbors is 12. So we can continue with this calculation. This allows us to come up with the lattice sums. Uh, so the lattice sum, the first lattice sum, sum over j not equal to i, pij to the power minus 12 is for the first the nearest neighbors we have eight of them eight and this is in terms of r equal to r so it is one to the power minus 12 plus the number of second nearest neighbors is six six times uh, the coefficient in in front of r is two over square root three two over square root three to the power minus 12 and then I have third nearest neighbors 12 of them uh, the uh, third nearest neighbor distance in terms of the nearest neighbor distance is 2 square root 2 over square root 3 r so this will be equal to uh, 2 square root 2 over square root 3 to the power minus 12 etc so this continues like this and this gives us a value 9.1012 plus some additional correction the exact value is given in the problem statement exact value was given as 9.11418 so fourth nearest neighbors fifth nearest neighbors give us a correction so basically it adds up to this value and if i look at the other lattice sum sum over j not equal to i pij to the power minus six this is now eight times one to the power minus six then i have six times two over square root three to the power minus 6 and then I have 12 times 2 square root 2 over square root 3 to the power minus 6 etc and this gives me a value 11.164 plus higher order corrections the exact value is given in the problem statement as 12.2533 okay then knowing these lattice sums we can write the leonard jones potential u as a function of capital r uh, so it was 1 over 4 capital n 1 over 2 capital n 4 epsilon which can be written as 2 n epsilon uh, now i have the first lattice sum 9.114 let's keep the uh, to the third uh, digit after the decimal sigma divided by r to the power 12 and then minus 12.25 3 sigma so this is going to be sigma over r to the power 6 okay so we have written the form of the leonard jones potential as a function of r for the bcc neon now what happens at equilibrium at equilibrium the force is going to be zero so we have the derivative of the potential evaluated at the equilibrium distance the udr at the equilibrium distance should be equal to zero uh, which gives us the udr is equal to evaluated at r0 is equal to 
9.114 multiplied with minus 12 sigma to 12 r0 to minus 11 so we're taking this derivative r to the minus 12 minus 12 comes up front it becomes to the power minus 11 then we have uh, plus 12.253 times 6 sigma to 6 r0 to the power minus 5 is 0. So we have r to the power minus 6 minus makes this sign plus. So 12 times 6 and then we have r0 to the power minus 5. So this should be equal to 0 at equilibrium. All right. So uh, if we simplify this, we obtain du dr. The net force has to be equal to 0 at equilibrium. At the equilibrium distance r0 is minus uh, 100... 9.368 sigma to the power 12 plus 73.518 sigma to the power 6 r0 to the power 6 is equal to 0. All right, so basically I have multiplied this equation by r0 to the power 5. So uh, that's going to get rid of this r0 to the power uh, minus 5. And this that will make it r0 to the power minus 6. Then I multiply it with r0 to the power 6. So that will get rid of this one and introduce r0 to the power 6 here. In other words, I multiply it with r0 to the power 11. So this goes away. I, I have r0 to the power 6 remaining here. Okay, so sigma to the 6 term has r0 to the power 6. The other term doesn't have an r0. And I perform this multiplication. This is the answer I get. And this gives me the following result r0 to the power 6 is 109.368 divided by 73.518 sigma to the power 6 which is 1.488 sigma to the power 6 and r0 to the power 12 then is going to be the square of this which is 2.213 sigma to the power 12. So if I evaluate the Leonard Jones potential at the equilibrium distance r0 that's going to be 2n epsilon uh, 9.114 the lattice sum sigma to the power 12 divided by r0 to the power 12 which is 2.213 sigma to the power 12 minus uh, then i have 12.253 uh, sigma to the power 6 divided by r0 to the power 6 1.488 sigma to the power 6 so uh, these will cancel and i will be left with uh, 2n epsilon 4.118 minus 8.235 uh, so i find that the answer is u of r0 is going to become 2n epsilon minus 4.117. All right. So uh, that's going to be 
the corresponding cohesive energy for the BCC form. So it's the BCC neon uh, cohesive energy. All right, so what we have done here is we have looked at the uh, cohesive energy, uh, the Leonard Jones potential for the BCC uh, neon. Uh, that's the general form, one over two capital N, four epsilon, sigma j not, uh, not equal to i summation sigma to the power 12 or pi j r to the power 12 minus the uh, attractive term sigma over pi j uh, r to the power 6 n is the number of atoms r is the nearest neighbor distance so all of these sums should be written in terms of the nearest neighbor distance so this is the coefficient uh, in in the front of the nearest neighbor distance r so these are the lattice sums given for uh, BCC and FCC structures. First thing I did was to check if the for the FCC structure this makes sense. The nearest neighbor distance is a square root 3 over 2. Second nearest neighbor distance is a. Third nearest neighbor distance is a square root 2. And the number of nearest neighbors, coordination number is 8. The number of second nearest neighbors is 6. The number of third nearest neighbors is 12. So calculating the lattice sums here, I find that I get numbers very close to the exact value given in the problem statement. So these numbers make sense. Now, I, if I substitute the given numbers to the Leonard-Jones potential, at the equilibrium, the derivative of the Leonard Jones potential with respect to the distance between the atoms should be equal to zero. That's when the force goes to zero. So evaluating this derivative at the equilibrium position, I find that uh, r0 to the power 6 and r0 po to the power 12 can be written in terms of uh, sigma and substituting that into the Leonard Jones potential, I, I reach the final answer to an epsilon multiplied with minus 4.117.